Well, okay, hello everyone, we are playing Final Fantasy VII again. And there we go, everything is connected to where it needs to go. And I have to admit that I, uh... <laughs> ah, right, and now we get to this part. I think I have enabled some kind of modification here. Um... Uh, well, anyway, uh, what I wanted to say was that I'm getting close to the end of Mask of the Betrayer, the my other Let's Play, and um, <laughs> I uh, get out of the land scene. I want to play that game. This was not what I had in mind. This was not what I had in mind when I activated that mod. At all. Okay, well, uh, what's done is done. I'll try to work with it. And for every treasure, of course, we get in some kind of mini boss fight. Let's see what this is. Oh, this one. What are you doing to my house? If I'm on something with that <laughs> uh, fan theory, it's going to be an absolute nightmare to reprogram myself. Oh, oh anyway, boom, done and dusted. Shrike's prey. What is that? Okay. Very worth. <sighs> Let's see. No, because this is such a <laughs> well big pile of nonsense right now. I will actually look up uh, Which um, clock number strands I uh, need to visit? Let's see, yes, all right. Okay. Oh, 
I'll go for four o'clock. Nah. Go nuts. Speed up time just a bit. And just a bit more. I'm oh, good. I think, yeah, number at, at three o'clock, it seems we get an enemy encounter with um, two eight eyes. There, I think they are called hecht eyes normally. Um, that's usually a pretty tough fight, so <laughs> I am very happy to not engage in it. Yep, that'll be a good upgrade. Interesting. Damn it. Um, or whatever. No, not happy with that. Okay, I want to get into number five. time. Yeah, pretty good. Huh. Well, thank you. You just screwed me over there. Yes, please. Yes, please, and thank you. Um, wait, should I put that on you instead? Hmm. It's an interesting consideration. But I think I'll leave it on Irish for the city's sake. And, uh, well, you better let that go when, uh, when the time comes, okay? Uh, we don't get too many ribbons on fancies. Okay. Let's see. Number six, we will go there eventually. Go back in time plenty. <sighs> You're being a too obtuse on purpose, aren't you? Uh, we want to 
gonna go places. Now for number seven. Thank you. Actually, let me just do that. All right. So I remember to give it a good title when I upload it to YouTube. Triton Trumpet, AKA Trumpet Shell. We don't have kids here with us, so whatever. And let's get that mega elixir in door number eight. A little too much. Go back. Or don't, actually. This works out. Um, and if, of course, if we get pushed off by that uh, second hand, uh, we will get to fight for the uh, nail bat, as I recall. That is a weapon I never actually use. Uh, well, besides <laughs> seeing how freaking stupid it looks. So, um, honestly, I think I'll give that a miss. This is not a 100% playthrough, so I, I can take a liberty. Uh, okay, now I think. We shall try to proceed with the game at... God damn it. Can I speed up time a bit? Yes, thank you. So in the other rooms, uh, in number 9 is supposed to be a dead end. Number 7 is rolling boulder room, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, I think oh, that is where we've been. So we don't need to do anything there. Oh. Oh, wait. No, maybe... Uh... <laughs> Maybe it would have paid to go back there and save the game, to be honest, now that I think about it. Uh, through this door, we'll get to that room with the murals and... Uh, end up fighting... Uh, that dragon, I believe. And uh, then we uh, take care of business and... Uh, Fighting the demon wall. The demon wall will very likely wait until at least next episode. Oh, hello. What are you? Work club. Oh. Lovely then that we don't have teeth on the team. No, 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 The way I solve this is uh, usually just uh, enter the uh, same door I left and eventually 
this guy will be caught. It um, often takes a while. Hey, hey! Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, save, yes, yes, yes. We save. We save hard. Did you rest as well? Psh, nah. Is, is that we go? No. Ah, okay. Got it. <laughs> Never mind. a bit um, easy. Yeah. Sephiroth is really creepy here. Well, at least I think so. I mean, we are used to seeing him as, you know, kind of, <laughs> well, in focus, normal humanoid, well, as normal as Sephiroth normally is, and here he is, like, not sane, and something's going on with his projection in the world. Um... It's like, I wouldn't say possessed, but it's like, um, there's more to him than a badass soldier. That is, you know, canonically Sephiroth. I'm not making a sense, am I? Whatever, it's Final Fantasy VII. Let's go have fun this time. Ah. Yeah, um, do tell, Mr. Man. Oh, and uh, you seem to imply that this will somehow be you? Okay. Maybe we can stab you a few times first, help you along the way. Demonetized. Um, actually, this is a, a sort of a sort of a tangent here. Yeah, just recently I watched a video where some other YouTuber going by the username for uh, Final Fantasy Peasant. Um, he went on a theory that uh, this is somehow connected to. Uh, a South American uh, Indian culture, uh, the Toltecs, although the murals are, um, of course, uh, approximating an Egyptian style. Uh, I didn't quite understand uh, what he was talking about there, but. Uh, Uh, basically, Cloud's story arc ends at the ending of the game in some kind of spiritual awakening and enlightenment in the uh, Toltec sense of the word. 
proto concept, I think. Anyway, let's move on. We have a dragon to smack. Yeah, yeah, make me whole again. We've played Dead Space. And we didn't like it. But I have understanding for those who did. Just hashtag not everyone like just likes Dead Space. Okay. Air is calling him out. Good. Sephiroth, your animations kinda not good on the frame rate. You sure you're alright? We heard that before in the original in the original translation. Well, if you're at the center of it, you'd probably be like smushed and dead and charred and burned and everything. And there will be an, enough spirit energy gathered to, uh, I don't know, rival a few nukes. And you want to be at the center of it. Good man. Right, then I won't have to kill you at all, and we can just go home and. Well, actually, no, that will be kind of quick because everyone, and everyone on the planet will probably die, so. Uh, yeah, no, we ain't having this nonsense. No, you've got this wrong. Not y your insanity does not work. I tried to use Death Magic in Final Fantasy VI. It did not work well. Well, that is to say, it worked exactly as it should, and it was not what I, it wasn't what I needed at the time. Okay, now Cloud's being a bit, uh, hazy. Seems to me like the retranslation didn't really touch these lines. Although, to be fair, there's not a whole lot we could probably do with them anyway. Yes, I'm me. Good for you for noticing. There you go. Or something. It's like they're going for a slight bit of horror here. Interesting. I didn't really <clears throat> consider it before. But... Yeah. Okay, I'm just uh, word salading here. Um, but I... I thought they, th that Square didn't really go for any horror elements until Final Fantasy XV, but um, 
I would say that this part is some kind of horror thing going on. And I don't mean just the uh, spook, spooky temple in uh, Gold Saucer. Um, yeah, they do try to unsettle the player here. Um, and they do a pretty good job considering uh, what they had to work with. Well, yeah, Cloud, you kind of went nuts and uh, didn't really, well, and kind of translucent and uh, doubled and things. Perfectly fine. And yes, I brought the state. Good. Oh, you did. I did not. <laughs> yeah, that is meteor and the dark materia. Black materia. <laughs> Mix it up with the dark matter. This fight is gonna take a while. Just gonna see if this works. Oh, 200 damage. I am shocked. Have some Odin to the face. That works. Otherwise, <laughs> well, Harris is gonna move pretty quickly. Oh, um, right. Just there, so we don't get content ID'd. Um, yeah. <laughs> it also disables sound effects, of course. Sorry, but I. Ooh, big damage. I don't want to feed the, uh, the content ID trolls. Hmm. Amazing. I don't think we do that m much. Oh, whoa, whoa. That much damage. Ouch. That is big damage. Ares is doing pretty good damage too. What is this? Why are people so strong? And of course, the one who got dropped is Cloud with the Revive Materia. Fucking A. I should have waited. That was all wasted. God damn it. Oh. I should have maybe done that roll. Go, Nanaki, go! Ha! And we win. <clears throat> Okay, so that fight wasn't all that difficult. I thought it would be worse, but 
that's just for the uh, dragon hitting so hard, I suppose. Dragon bracelet. And the Bahamut materia. Or Bahamut. Pronounce these things in many, many ways. How's fire, ice, lightning? I'll take that. Have Bahamut. Morph, I don't think will master. <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah, well, I think we'll meet the uh, other guy. Actually, let's uh, put this in the next episode. Uh, see you in a bit.